Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to go over uh, a breakdown of how my mapping is set up for four decks uh, on the VMS4 in Tractor Pro. I'm going to start first with the center of the VMS4 um, so you get a pretty good understanding of what's going on there. This is segment one. I'm going to come back with two other segments for the left side and the right side, uh, basically deck A and C, deck B and D. Uh, back to the center. You have four channels for four decks. Deck A, deck B, deck C, and deck D. Uh, the cues are all mapped to work with the corresponding um, actual decks that you're going to use. Deck A, Deck B, Deck C, and Deck D. All four cues work. The crossfader, I, you can of course select it if you want to select which decks you want to actually work in a crossfader. When I'm using four decks, I don't use it. And I haven't done any mapping with anything for that. Um, all of the EQs also work for the corresponding deck. This is Deck C's EQ in game, Deck A's EQ in game. Uh, up the center, the booth works the way it's supposed to, the balance, and also the, the master volume. Uh, deck B, EQ and gain. Deck D, EQ and gain. I have not mapped anything else on top of any of this. This is the basic function for uh, your volumes, your gains, your mids, your highs, and your lows. Setting your booth, your master, and your balance. Um, I haven't done any mapping with the mouse pad or the load buttons. They work standard the way that they were uh, assigned through uh, American Audio for the VMS4. I also have not mapped out these high resolution uh, touch sliders for anything, so that's open for you. Basically, the center is just set up to work like a mixer four channels, four sets of controls for channels, four volume faders, that's it for the center. Be back for segment two uh, for the left side and for the right side.